Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I honestly didn't even know what I was gonna film today. I kind of just sat down, brought a few products down that I really wanted to play around with and ended up creating this look. I feel like I've done a look very similar to this, but honestly, I don't even care. <laughs> I love how it turned out and I know it's summertime, but this look is really giving me like fall vibes, but honestly, you could rock it all year round. It's so pretty, so glam, perfect for events. Honestly, just to run to the grocery store. You can rock this look anytime. <laughs> so I hope that you guys enjoy this look and if you want to stick around to see how I created it, then just keep on watching. I'm going into the BH Cosmetics Glam Reflections L'Amour Shadow Palette. The first shadow I'm picking up is this light peachy pink shadow. Starting off with my Sigma E38 Diffuse Crease Brush, I'm going to start running this shadow through my crease as my transition shade to add a little bit of a pinky hue to the look. And then I'm going to take this shadow and whatever is left on the brush start winging that out so I go from the outer corner of my lower lash line and kind of flick upward and then go back and connect it into the crease area I'm now going into this dark brown shadow now I'm switching over to my Sigma E25 blending brush and again kind of doing the same thing with the winged out shape right here and then bringing that all the way into the inner corner of my crease. I kind of just do like short strokes sideways and blend that in. And then again, just applying a little bit more. That kind of didn't look like a little bit more. I mean, we are going for a dramatic look, so a lot is okay. <laughs> and just keep going back and forth and blending and then doing little circular motions. You guys are definitely going to get sick of me saying sideways windshield wipe motions and circular motions. I say that in every video, but that's just how I blend and trust me, it works and buffs out your shadow so well. Now I'm going to take that same shadow and I'm picking that up on my same E25 blending brush and packing that on all over my lid. And now just going back into that pink shadow and applying that at the high point of this crease. When I say high point, I don't mean like literally apply at the very highest point. I kind of apply it right between where that transition shade and the brown shadow is and then just blend that through and it diffuses everything really, really nicely and adds that transition shade back in and brings that hue back in that I want. Now I'm going to show you a little trick that I like to do. So you know how you can apply tape right here to get it really, really crisp? Sometimes I don't like doing that because I don't want it to be super, super defined and crispy looking. Sometimes I just want it to be kind of sharp but a little bit more diffuse. So I take my brush and just kind of buff away any fallout. And then I'm going to take my finger and on the side just go like that. Wipe off. Look at that. Nice and easy, no tape, didn't take off my makeup, and it's nice and sharp. Now with my Sigma E54 Medium Sweeper Brush, I'm going to apply that pink shadow that I use as my transition all the way across my lower lash line, all the way into the inner corner. And I don't want to bring it too far down because I kind of still want it to connect with that crease shadow that ends off right there. Now with my E15 Flat Definer Brush, just going to start kind of wiggling this dark brown shadow right on this outer corner of my lower lash line and then smoke that down. Again, not smoking it too far down, still keeping it within this shadow line right there. And just go back and forth and then lightly just diffuse that in. For my lid, I'm going into the Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in Kit and Karma. So now I'm going to apply this liquid eyeshadow and try to start cutting out and creating that cut crease and then apply it halfway onto my lid. And diffuse that out into the outer corner. And then with my F70 Concealer Brush by Sigma, I'm going to pick up a little bit more of that liquid shadow and start carving out and sharpening up that crease. Now I picked up a little bit of that brown shadow and just tapping that right over here to blend that a little bit. To line my waterline and tight line, I'm going to the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Demolition. And then lastly, just to line my upper waterline and then line my lower waterline. I'm now going to apply some mascara and false lashes and today I'm going to use Esquito Lashes in Naughty and Nice. And that's the eye look done. 
for my lips i want to try out something new and it's a lipstick but it's matte and my mom actually tried this and she said it stayed on all day so i'm really curious to see how they are and how they feel on the lips so this is the laura mercier velour extreme matte lipstick so it comes like this and there's like a little sharpener at the end and then this is what it looks like so i'm excited to try this out and this is in the shade vibe Okay, so it's not that easy to apply just on its own. Maybe if it's really, really sharp, but then once it started softening, it kind of got a little bit more difficult. So this is my favorite, favorite lip brush. This is the Smashbox Lip Brush. So I'm just gonna kind of outline my lip line just to define a little bit more. And that is it. This is a completed look of my sparkly burgundy half cut crease look. I hope you guys enjoyed. I actually love how it turned out and the liquid eyeshadow by Stila is bomb. And I think this is like the first time I've ever tried this shadow out and I'm loving it. It stayed on so well because I actually did this eye. Got a phone call, ended up running upstairs and talking for like an hour and then came back down and then I started filming this eye and this eye looks like I just... Did it so it is definitely long wearing and the glitter particles like don't fall off or anything i mean there's like a few glitters here and there but other than that that's probably just from when i blended it out perfect 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 and this lipstick guys this lipstick is so beautiful i'm in love with the shade i'm staring at myself if you're wondering why i'm looking down here i'm in love with the shade it feels so comfortable on and I feel like it's definitely going to be a long wearing lipstick it does feel very matte but it doesn't feel drying it still feels very nice on the lips so I'm loving it I have two more shades of these and I think one of them is like this beautiful red so I'm definitely going to create a look specifically just around that red because I really want to try it out and see how it looks on so I really like these you definitely do need to either apply a lip liner or use a brush to kind of define the outer perimeter of your lips because it does kind of get like that faded feathered look honestly I don't mind that look I love that look as well but sometimes I like it to be a little bit more polished so the brush really helps and the Smashbox lip brush you need to get that brush. <laughs> so if you want to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter, that'll be right here, as well as down description box, and also a list of all the products that I use today, along with my brush set with Sigma, my Plain and Elliot Favors brush set, will be linked down below for you guys to find everything easier and shop away, and yeah, <laughs> I don't know what I wanted to say next. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!